This is Maria from Art Toolkit. And today we are excited to share with you that we are carrying a limited selection of Daniel Smith gouache paints. We have been listening. So many of you have asked us about gouache that we decided to explore more for ourselves. For years, I've personally loved using white gouache and we've offered it on our website as it's really complementary to watercolor paints giving a more opaque finish, creating pastels, and adding final bright details to paintings. When Daniel Smith recently launched their new line of gouache colors, we knew we had to try them. They launched 22 colors, and out of those, we're happy to offer their primary mixing set. These are four colors, including Hansi Yellow Medium, Pearl Red, Ultramarine Blue, and Titanium White. And then in addition to those, we picked four of our favorites that we think are complementary to the primary mixing set, Quinacrinone Magenta, Cascade Green, Burnt Sienna, and Lamp Black. So first off, what is gouache? Gouache is an opaque water-based paint that is compatible with watercolor, but is formulated with a high pigment load and dries with a matte finish. Many artists love using gouache fresh out of the tube for more of an acrylic painted look but it can also work well in a travel palette. We find the paints can re-wet well and especially love using them on a toned paper. So first off, I'm gonna warm up by swatching these colors for you and then we'll go on to show you a bit about how we fill our pans. Hansi Yellow Medium is one of my favorite yellows. It's a really wonderful middle of the road, pure yellow. Next we've got pure old red, a real fire engine red. The third color that's part of the primary mixing set is ultramarine blue. All three colors are these pure primaries, yellow, blue, and red with the addition of white to give a lot of mixing possibilities. Titanium white, when mixed with other colors, can help bring a sense of like pastels. Titanium white can also be added on top of your paintings for some final brights, such as like little sailboat masks or cat whiskers. In addition to the primary mixing set, we chose four colors that we think are complementary to really expand the mixing possibilities. First is quinacridone magenta. Wonderful for mixing, useful for florals, sunsets. Brilliant color. Cascade green is a convenience green. Sometimes, especially outside doing plein air sketching, you might want to save yourself a little time from mixing and start with a green that you can add either yellow to or to brighten it up or a little red to dull it down. And Cascade Green is a beautiful starting point. Burnt Sienna is a beautiful neutral brown that can be mixed with blues for grays or as a base starting point for so many elements of the landscape and world. Finally, we have Lamp Black. And Lamp Black is another convenience color. It can help tint other pigments to dull them down, or be used by itself as a dark to deepen shadows, or do value studies. One of the properties of gouache is how opaque it can be. So in contrast to laying the colors out on white, we want to demonstrate how they look on a black paper. We hope these swatches help you see the range of saturation and hue for these eight beautiful colors. Filling gouache in our watercolor pans is just like filling them with regular watercolor paint. But you may notice that some gouache colors are more prone to cracking, drying out, or falling out of pans. For example, we found that uh, quinacridone magenta can dry out a little bit more. Also, lamp black can dry out a little more. Our trick to adding a little moisture to watercolor paints to help keep them in our pans is to add a little bit of vegetable glycerin. And we do this by using a toothpick. We put just a little drop in our pan. A little bit will do you, you don't need a lot. And then when we squeeze the paint in, we stir it around with the vegetable glycerin and then let it dry overnight. So here's an example of a magenta that's uh, just been filled with paint. You can see it's filled all the way to the top. And tomorrow it'll look much more similar to this, a pan that's been filled and may have shrunk quite a bit. Then we'll top it off. And you can see this one still shrank a bit from the corners. We would probably do another fill on this pan just to really top off those corners, but it's not going anywhere. I can hold this upside down, shake it. That pan is not going anywhere. We want to share with you a layout for a demi palette that we think is super cute for these eight Daniel Smith paints. 
Starting with a demi palette and a small mixing pan, we're gonna do a little rainbow of color. So here we've got titanium white, Hansa yellow medium, Pure scarlet, quinacridone magenta, ultramarine blue, cascade green, burnt sienna, and finally lamp black. Now going out and sketching with this palette, one thing that uh, we do both with watercolors and with gouache is sometimes we might squeeze just a little bit of water onto the paints to kind of pre-wet it. However you use gouache, we'd love to hear your experiences with it. We're still experimenting and learning and really it's all about having fun. So keep in touch, let us know if you have any questions and happy painting.